smooth man here again. Just talking about some things just really hit me right here in the brain. It's like stuck on my mind right now. I mean, you know, my man's that I grew up with, you know, just got out. And, you know, when I seen him, you know, I seen he was a little bit hood rich, you know what I'm saying? He, he now running in the gangs and staying, you know, and he, he claiming. But, you know, what's what's killing me is what's smooth, man. It's time. I'm seeing how the streets is not. You know what I'm saying? In Detroit, man, it's, it's really starting to come down in, in, in a real bad way. And we can't just blame it all on Kwame. You know, I'm not a Kilpatrick fan at all. You know, I'm not with the Kwame scene at all. But it ain't all Kwame's fault the way the city is going. I mean, you know, he may a, a tilted the charge a bit, you know, to get the momentum flowing. But, you know, us as Detroiters, we got to stand up and claim some things on our own. I mean, nowadays, people is just straight shooting and killing for no reason. Just running up, shooting people just for sight. I mean, just for no reason at all. It's like the whole thing of life don't mean nothing no more. I'm, I'm walking with my nephew up in the mall. And, you know, just because, you know, I, I, I got tats everywhere. You know, I'm all tatted. And, you know, I might look a certain way. You know, some dudes might even get intimidated by me or whatnot. But we go by a little young crowd, man. And all I got was just mug from the front door all the way to the back of the store. So then when my nephew went off to go buy him some shoes, you know, he trying on some shoes. The little crowd, the little kids going over there by him. This little young man's trying to prove they self. They all sitting up at the against the bench mugging them. Like they want to jump them or trying to prove they self. No. Player, it's not going down like that. No. See, I love my black people and I love my brothers, so don't get me wrong. I love all y'all, but niggas... I hate me some niggas. If I could join a clan and go out and hang as many niggas on, on tree as I can, I'd do it. Wear the white hood and everything, cause I hate me some niggas. I don't like niggas. People who know how to I act, like common folks. sense, people who respect the community and try to bring things up. Now, now those people, those black men and women, kings and queens is different than your average everyday nigga. A nigga nowadays range around the age of 16, possibly up to 35. Always somebody that's trying to prove themselves. Always love the stereotypes. And always thinking that he, she's trying to be the hardest thing on the block. Fear for him, for some stupid, deranged reason, is a sign of respect. When actually everybody's looking at you like you an ignorant fool. So I go over there and he's trying to be, want to be over there by my, my niggas. Yes. Sitting all up on there trying to mug my mans. No, no. Why smooth man on the set? It's not going down like that. So I goes over there and you know, I stand right next to him and I mugs them all down. Cause if y'all gonna do something, y'all best do something. Best believe I got my, my, my nephew's back. Y'all ain't gonna touch him. You know what I'm saying? I'ma send him on his way and handle all y'all little young kids myself. Cause you know, I used to scrap in high school. I used to run with the worst in high school. I I admit it back in the day when I was young and everything, I probably didn't have the father figure that I should have. But you know, I'm not gonna use that as a total excuse. It was also my ignorance and my wanting to be hood rich so you know i done through them things before y'all not gonna just run up here and just be ignorant but what i'm starting to notice it's a cycle and it's going around in, in detroit i mean the buses the bus routes are gone now you can't even catch the bus to work no more they taking it the weekend routes away How's a major city not going to have a bus running on major routes on the weekend? I mean, what, people don't work on weekends? Is, is, is this what I'm hearing? I mean, we have absolutely no source of transportation in the city of Detroit 
whatsoever and a little bit of transportation is getting whacked up every day and I'm sorry that the bus drivers and everything is getting beat down I really am sorry and what I disagree with is Mayor Bean calling those people who beat down that bus driver hoodlums I mean hoodlums mayor learn your citizens those are regular everyday people trying to get back and forth to work bro yeah they got frustrated I'm not saying what they did was wrong but these are people that's losing their jobs can't get their kids to school can't make a doctor's appointment can't do everyday things can't even go shop and bring food in the house because they don't have no transportation you can't even get on a bus because there ain't no buses and as far as I'm concerned when did crime stop at 4 o'clock so now I understand is that the, pre the precincts are closing at 4 o'clock so at 520 you can't even re go report that somebody trying to climb in your window huh that's crazy it's a major city and you telling me you closing all the precincts down at 4 o'clock that's some crazy shit I mean if 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 I was a, a hoodlum or a thief or a thug after four o'clock seemed to be a pretty promising time to go out and do my thing if I don't say so myself I mean the city is going downhill you know what the more people that leave the city the less taxes we're getting and the less taxes we're getting the less money the city has to do everyday city activities like picking up garbage paying for bus drivers to run routes paying to have maintenance on bus drivers paying to have police on the streets paying for fire and paying for the ambulance I mean nowadays in the city of Detroit you can't call for an ambulance so if somebody climbing in your window and you end up getting shot and you, you're almost dead and it's after four o'clock chances is you're fucked it ain't looking good for you buddy not in Detroit but at the same time smooth man can understand why people would be leaving the city if I had children and I had a child, what the hell would I want to stay in the city of Detroit for? You know, I would move out to the suburbs too. And you know, like everybody's saying, the suburbs is becoming the new hood. Because Detroit is dead. I mean, it, you know, it's a catch-22. You don't want to be in the city, you know, even though you love the city. But when you leave... You're doing more damage to the city because you're taking away city taxes and everything else. And that's one of the main reasons that the city is having problems keeping up with everything now. And, you know, unlike you do like in New York or Chicago where they actually fall in the suburbs and the city activities that kind of work together. Here, the suburbs is chopping up this, the city and, and, you know, taking pieces of the city like they had the pawn shop. Now we got Cobo Hall going down there. We got the auto show running today. But the auto show is not bringing in revenue to the city of Detroit. Because we don't own Cobo Hall anymore. Now Cobo Hall is owned at a, a committee. You know, with suburban people and, you know, chosen and somebody from the, the city to represent the city. and But the revenue and all that from the auto show, from the big three, from the only thing that's keeping the city of Detroit alive is not going back to the city but then again it's a catch-22 because when the city had Cobra Hall we couldn't afford to pay for it and keep up with it you know so I mean what can you do what can you say it's, it's a bad scenario you know this the, you go downtown and everything looks nice and everything look good but this city is struggling and the city's struggling bad and then we got these casinos what's going on with the casino revenue i thought revenue from the casinos and the lottery tickets and all that stuff is supposed to go towards our school and our libraries you closing libraries it's like a library closing every year and i remember going to refford high school and I know a lot of alumni that went to Refer High School. And I, I, I 
and I, I know a cat that went to Redford High School and he pushing almost 50 years old. You know how long ago that is? Redford been open since I can't remember. Now you're telling me Redford High School is closed? No more, man. It's no more. That's crazy. And all the schools like McKenzie and all these other schools that people knew, grew up all their life going to, them schools is gone. Them, they gone. And the schools that is existing and it is still open, they having issues even getting new books. I know some suburban like schools that get their kids computers. We can't even get books. And then the city is going so broke that they about to get a, 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 a manager something or whatever to come in and run the city which obsoletes the mayor and our city council. But at the same time, once again, it's a catch-22. Because you, you think, how can you just come into a major city and just outright take over people that we as citizens voted for? But again, then again, the people that we voted for ain't doing their jobs. You kind of want a manager to come in and, and make sure things is getting done the way it's supposed to get done. But I'm just trying to rep and just get people to open their eyes at the true way the city of Detroit is just is, is going down. I, I, I love the city. Smooth man loves the city of Detroit. I rep it all day. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not just a hat, you know. I I, I rep I rep the city all day. You know what I mean? I, I rep it all day. You know, I even I even got the 313 on this boy. You know what I'm saying? Even got the 313 down there. You know, I love I love where I'm from. Don't get me wrong. It's just so many things out there that's going on, you and then now you telling me our women out here crime. getting snatched up. Our sisters, they find the sisters dead in cars and all this stuff. I mean, what's going on if we can't protect our women and our children? You understand? You can't go around killing women. I mean, that's the mother of. The children. That's that, that's 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 the mother of the new generation right there. I mean, that, that's that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be what happened to the strong men in the city taking up and doing the things that's right and keeping things the way it's supposed to be. What happened to the strong men walking their children and their kids to school every day, making sure they get to and from school every day i know we gotta work you know i'm not i'm not, I'm not downing you if you gotta work but if it's your off day how dare you you let your son ride on a bus and ride his butt home i know gas is a motherfucker man but get off your ass and make sure your kids is safe get off your ass and walk your ass around the block sometimes and make sure you look out for your neighbors Matter of fact, how many of y'all living in a house right now and ain't never knocked on a neighbor's door, don't even know they fucking name? That's sad, man. Because y'all, back back, back when Smooth Man was coming up, not only did I do my neighbor's name, but we was looking out. We looked out for each other. I remember I went, me and my family went out to Alabama. Somebody kicked in our door. My next door neighbor ran up in the house with a 38. With a 38 and two Rockwellers. Making sure our house was safe. He even called my pops and told him what happened. I mean, what, what happened to the unity in the city nowadays? That's all Smooth Man is saying. It's, it's, let's get it together, people. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I love you all. I love the city. Wouldn't have it no better way. You know, just things that's on my man. On my mind. Smooth Man's out. Just giving you something to think about. Love y'all. Stay safe. Peace. I'm out. Thank y'all for watching and for the support.